data handling, raw data. A collection of observations gathered initially is called raw data. For example, marks obtained by five students 17, 15, 22, 39, 45. They constitute a data because they are all the five numbers of the same type. Presentation of data. After collection of data, the investigator finds ways to arrange the data. The data collected can be arranged in various ways. There are three main. One of them is alphabetical order, the other is ascending order, the third is descending order. In the ascending order, they can be arranged like 15, 17, 22, 39, and 43. Whereas in the descending order, they can be arranged as 43, 39, 22, 17, and 15. Arrayed data, raw data when put in ascending or descending order of magnitude is called arrayed data. Arrayed means arranged. So arrayed data is arranged in the ascending or descending order. Frequency distribution, when the number of observations is very large, then the data is presented as frequency distribution, which consists of table having variables on, in one column and the corresponding frequencies in the other column. For example, marks obtained by 20 students, classes 0 to 10, frequency 4, 10 to 26, 20 to 30, 3, 30 to 40, 5, 40 to 50, 2. Total number of students is 20, which tallies with the number of students given above. Frequency, the number of times an observation occurs in the given data is called its frequency. For example, a frequency table between the marks and number of students. Three marks are obtained by two students. So the frequency of three is two. Similarly, frequency of four is seven, that of five is five, frequency of six is three, and that of seven is three. Grouped frequency distribution. The presentation of data can further be condensed into classes. Such a data is called grouped frequency distribution. Classes and their corresponding frequency. Class 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80 to 100, and their corresponding frequencies are 13 and 17, 5, 12, and 3. Now 0 to 20 means 0 and above but less than 20. 20 to 40 means 20 and above but less than 40. In the same way, each in each class, higher class interval is included in the next class. There are two methods of classifying the data according to the class intervals. A. Exclusive method. In this method, upper limit of one class is not included in that class to which it belongs. B. Inclusive method. In this method, the classes are so formed that the upper limit of a class is included in the particular class in which it occurs. For example, on the left side we have data arranged according to exclusive method on the right side we have data arranged same data arranged in the include by the inclusive method mark 0 to 10 and 2 to 20 and so on frequency is 5 4 7 5 9 making a total of 30. in inclusive method marks are 0 to 9 10 to 19 20 to 29 and so on the corresponding frequencies are 5 4 7 5 9 making a total of 30. Construction of a discrete frequency distribution. The following steps are observed. Obtain the raw data. Prepare a table with the first column for variable, second column for tally marks, third column for frequency. Give a suitable title to the frequency distribution table so that it conveys exactly what the table is about. For example, marks obtained by 25 students out of 20. 15, 16, 16, 14, 17, 17, and so on. These are 20 members in all. Frequency distribution of marks out of 20. First column is for marks. The minimum marks obtained by the group is 14, and the maximum obtained is 17. We see the number and put a tally mark according to that in front of the given number. In the end, we count the tally marks for the first line, they are 4, for the second, they are 9, 8. And for the third, they are 10, for the fourth, they are 3, making a total of 25. 4 tally marks crossed makes 5.